Alright. Oh, is that... Is that a goblin already? Goblin Sreya. Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little quasi-banger, I guess you could probably say. I'll get more into that here pretty soon. Now, this just recently hit Steam. Fully translated, ready to go. However, this is where we get into the good stuff. This game used to exist before Steam, untranslated, of course, um, in different platforms. And that version is a lot more different than the version you will play here on Steam. And I know what you're thinking right now. What did they censor this time? Well, you know, here's the interesting thing about that. This isn't even a case of censorship. It's a case of the developer being like, eh, I kind of don't want that in my game. So, there is now two versions of this game. The one you'll see on Steam, which does apparently have a couple of extra stuff added to, I guess, make up for what was removed. And then there's the version that exists outside of Steam. Now, unfortunately, that one um, is not translated, and apparently it's impossible, or at least has been in the past, to translate, you know, as people on the internet do. But now that we have this version here translated, who knows? Maybe it'll be a possibility someday down the line. You can take this translation, apply it to the old game, and you have yourself the definitive edition. However, in the spirit of keeping this completely 100, I will be adding whatever special scenes or game over should have played out in this particular version over on the Falcon Patreon. So in case you're interested in that or just want to check out exclusive long-form Let's Plays that I have over there and not here, that'll be unavailable for you. Check out the link down below. For now though, let's get to it. Now I should mention this is going to be a uh, third-person shooter, as a matter of fact. One thing that they did indeed keep, however, is close damage and injury shown on Lorena? You're Lorena, right? Yeah, Lorena herself. Anyway, let's see what we have here. It's here, right where the map said it would be. This has got to be the right place. I finally made it. The... Oh, I see. That's cute. I was about to over here, like, you know, bust my head and be like, oh, great, another thing I can't, I can't pronounce, but uh, it's literally the tutorial ruins. This is where the real work starts. I gotta stay on the ball. I know this job's dangerous, but if I can pull this off, I'll make a killing in no time. It'll be okay. I've trained for this, so I'll be fine. As of right now, all the treasure in these ruins is officially mine. I might be new to this, but I'll scrunch up every last scrap of loot this place has to offer. Wait for me, lady. Your sis is going to help you. Okay, so we're apparently collecting treasure for our sister for whatever reason might exist here, huh? Let's go ahead and uh, pick up some royal cherries. Stores by 20%. We have obviously our, our very mo enemy girl squeal because why yes. not? Mana crystal containing energy that can power a machine. Mana look. Mana look. Uh, main menu. Escape, of course, and how to, yeah, you know, you never played a video game before, dog? This is how you do it. So, let's go ahead over here and equip our gun. We also have our cherries down here as well. Sure don't want to pop dolls, huh? Let's run up through here and checkpoint activated. Oh, no, no, timing, sorry, my friend. This is not going to be a, a speed run. I am anti-speed run, not because of choice. It's just that I take my sweet time and everything. I wonder if I could jump across this. Oh, gee. <laughs> In case you're too dumb to figure out how to get out of this room. Mm, maybe if you um jump this little ledge here and uh, proceed through that opening over there. Of course, it is blocked off, but I'm pretty sure. Ah. Boink. <laughs> obviously the sound effect that we all make when we toss grenades around. Boink. Radar window. All right. Oh, is that... Is that a goblin already? Goblin Sreya. Is that what I think it is? I knew it. That's a monster, all right. Not just any monster. It's a goblin. It looks like it hasn't noticed me yet. I'll take it down at long range before it gets the chance. Attacking enemies from beyond their field of vision can allow you to defeat them without suffering any damage yourself. That's a very good, um... piece of advice and everything, but... What would happen, some might say. Oh, 
Okay, now that we've learned about that, let's handle this the right way here. Hello, my friend. Can I go ahead? Oh, that's a sweet headshot. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, oh. Three in the dome piece. He dropped something for me, some grenades. Perfect. Okay. So that is done with. Oh, you want me to, uh. Wait, can I inspect it first? I could. What's this thing? Question. What should you do when you find a suspicious, a suspicious object? Investigate it with your look button, or take a shot at it to open a path forward. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what I indeed had in mind. That's normally what I do. It's something I don't understand. Hmm. This item is weird. I don't understand it. I must destroy it. Sprinting, yes. We have indeed figured that out already. Let's go ahead. Oh. Goblino showed up over there. Hello, my friend. Better not take care of this man before he even takes a shot at us here. I do believe there's some melee. Um, let's see if we can engage in some melee. Oh, these guys are melee units. Perfect. Let's take out one of them. That's a great shot there, Tex. And let's try it a little bit of melee. Oh. He went down relatively quickly. I mean, I know goblins are supposed to be weak for adventurers to begin with, but uh, it's a little bit too weak if you ask me. Now we are getting different color of these gems. I'm not sure what those are for. I guess we'll figure it out. Let's try out a little bit more melee again. He's down. This guy's over here taking a shot forever. Come on, Doc, take a shot and see what happens. Hmm? Bad one. Bad one indeed. One thing I don't like is that if you're running, you can't go into like aim immediately. Like if I try to aim right now from this run sprint, I can't. I have to stop. And then take a... Take aim. By the way, how did I get that little um, scratch on my leg? There are injuries as well that you can see on the character, but uh, I haven't taken any damage yet, have I? <laughs> Alright, maybe it's the blood of my... Oh! <laughs> it's the blood of my enemies, probably. Okay, this guy's down. But yeah, it's a little bit annoying that you can't, like, you know, go into, like, aim from a run. You have to stop and then aim. Which, you know, it's not nothing major. But it does kind of break the flow a little bit. So, as we learn, we must destroy these objects we don't understand, so... Where has that opened up to us? Oh, was that like basically where um, we saw the first goblin? There was a door that we skipped out on beforehand. Rick, you guys here? Oh, hello. Oh, this is the room with the laser. We're on top of that. Okay. So we've essentially kind of circled back. There's repair damage for, okay, for the story gloating. So if your clothes do get destroyed, you can actually mend them as well. Thing, what, uh, hello. Okay. Luckily, Flores were able to just shoot a cannon. It's a very weak cannon, to be honest with you. Crouch. Yeah. Right over here and, uh... Very interesting crouch animation that we got. It's almost like she's popping a squad, but hey. Ooh, this is our first boss fight. Oh jeez, this is bad. That ancient weapon's still active. Those things are hard as rocks. Mana logs can barely scratch them. What if I wanna, but if I want to keep moving, I'm going to have to do something about it. Hmm. Oh. So that ain't going to work, huh? I wonder if... That didn't work either. I wonder if... Yes, sir. I think that um, bullet kind of um, is your hint. The color of it, because it's blue. Because I think the one that the magic cannon that shot at us before was like red. This one was blue, yes. so it's going to be like, you know, shoot it. You're returning it back. Ancient treasure, a device with a cylinder protruding from it, spins at incredibly high speed when stimulated with lightning magic. Oh. That's your stimulation right here, buddy. Yeah, I did it, and it even had treasure inside. You can sell the treasures you find in ruins back in the town of Dra. Oh, so there's going to be a little hub city, too. Okay. Red mana bolt. Let's, uh... Continue onwards here. Let's do our little... 
liquid hot magma. Maneuvering if we can. Oh, that was a close one, Falcon. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. I think I saw a treasure over here. Though. Yes. Guidance needle. Yes. Yeah, you already told me that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Return to me, platform. Huh? I must continue my journey. For the fate of my sister, whatever it might be. Yeah, so we have like this post war ruin area. It's, it's weird. It's basically like mending fantasy with post apocalypse or machines and stuff like that. Wow, this place is totally full of wrecked up ancient weapons. Wrecked up, huh? That's one way to say it. There's gotta be some treasure lying around here, but. Looks like it's full of unlicensed raiders, too. I've heard those people are never happy to see hunters. This might get nasty. You know what? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it might get nasty, but, uh, for you, not really for us. So, let's, uh, find out. Oh, wait a second. I guess before we find out what happens, what is, uh, this butterfly? Excuse me. Did you get lost? You belong in Persona. Oh, I guess it was just... I felt yes. bad, like, shooting it, but I guess that's what you had to do. I got a fair weather butterfly. Anyway, let's find out what these fine gentlemen have to say to us for, uh, you know, pillaging their treasure. Okay, as you can imagine, they're, they weren't really too fond of us being here. So now we shall take them out. Oop, this guy dropped a green one. Oop. The hell? Why did I turn pink momentarily? Oh, it's even a magician. And a cannon up front, too. Pop your head, dog, see what happens. Oh, he's tossing the blue one. Sorry, those we want to shoot back. Oh, there's a dude. Okay, hold on. There's a dude rolling up behind me here. I feel like as long as you run in strafe, <laughs> these guys are kind of screwed, you know? Especially with a rifle. I think I forgot about you. Oh, we didn't have to shoot it back. Lucky for us. Alright, did we pick everything up here along the way? Yes. That was a quick little skirmish, but I want to make sure that we're getting our loot. It's a little disappointing. I was hoping for a little bit of a reward for going on away for that one. Oh, you're the guy who made me uh, purplish last time. It seems like he's injured his leg. Do you see that? <laughs> like he's hanging out in an angle like, oh, oh, I just twisted my ankle shooting this uh, wizard beam at you. Oh, hello, my friend. Are you the big baddie around here? Damn it! How'd she make it this far? You're one of the guild's hunters, aren't you? Bet you've been living out. God, he said too fast. This is our treasure. I'm not letting you lay a finger on it. Okay. So, my friend, how do you think uh, we should deal with you? Because that is uh, fairly small. What if I toss a grenade at you? Hmm. I just shoot the... Ah, shoot it back at him. Oh, you'll pay for that! I mean, do I really have to move at this point? <laughs> he tosses his own grenade, essentially, huh? Oh! Actually got me. Did we remove the text box with? Thank you. Oh, you know what? Let's see, could I sh just attack it back? I can't. Yeah, that's probably easier than actually shooting it back, you know? <laughs> you see that? It's, it's almost like he shit out a red gem. Three star rarity. Set to grant eternal life. If you drink it on a daily basis. Maybe we shouldn't sell that one, huh? <laughs> Seems like a fairly good one, you know? Alright. Cute anime pose and everything great. How did it go for us? Hits taken two. Defeated everybody. Accuracy rate 68. 
We were one away from 69. Could you imagine? Could you imagine how we hit that 69 accuracy rating? I keep telling you guys, it follows me around. Either way, we got an S-score ranking, so I'm happy with that. Please, can't you do something? She's the only family I have left. You have to save her. I'll do anything, just please. Save Liddy. The music is actually fairly good as well. I've done everything in my power, I assure you. Her fever's receding for now, at least. For the moment, her life isn't in danger. I'm sure she'll wake up soon. Oh, lady. Thank goodness. I can't thank you enough for helping her. Uh oh. <laughs> what are those dots all about, dog? Are you expecting a payment of some kind? This is... Difficult to put into words, but I'm afraid I must. The illness your sister suffers from is an especially troublesome one. I've alleviated her symptoms for now, but the root cause of the problem remains. She's not fully cured. I give her a matter of years at most. Past that point, well... No, that can't be. What can we do to save her? There's only one treatment capable of curing her illness entirely. She'll have to ingest a particular form of magical elixir brewed from a dragon's tail. An elixir? You mean, as long as I get one of those, I can save her? Yes, so long as she ingests the elixir before her symptoms progress past the point of no return. There's a high likelihood she'll be fully cured. However... Well, I told you that it's made from. Elixirs of that kind are incredibly expensive and hard to find on top of it. To the best of my knowledge, they are produced very rarely, and only at the Royal Academy of Medicine in the capital. I would expect to pay a million gold for a single dose, at the absolute least. Okay, I'll do it. You what? I mean, I gotta try, right, dog? It's my sister. I'll find the money and buy that medicine. I swear it, no matter what happens. I'll get that million gold and I'll do it within the year. I don't care what I have to do it for, either. Hang in there, lady. Just a little longer. Thus, that's the story of Lauren and Len Ruins. We're doing it for her sister, so now we know what she meant earlier. Guess this will be a little hub city. Hello, fellow anime girls. I'm back. Ah, oh, of course, the cat girl. Meow, it's Lorena, welcome back. So how was it? Did everything go okay? Yep. Finished my investigation of the tutorial ruins and brought some treasure back with me. Then you've finally done it. You've conquered your very first ruin. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It definitely wasn't easy, but I somehow made it back safe and sound. And you know what that means, meow? As at this moment, you're officially a fully-fledged treasure hunter. The Guildmaster's gonna be ecstatic. Keep up the good work. Cool. Can I can I sell my stuff now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, Guild. I need to steal momentarily from you. Yes. Grenades. Who is this giant cat man? Okay. Hey, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to sell some things. So, oh, yo, this butterfly is three thousand, huh? Key item, a blue butterfly with beautiful wings, also known as a uh, Almanian Morpho. Cool. Well, I mean, you're also known as 3000, so I absolutely want that. This item is too valuable to sell? Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm looking for money. Maybe they're collectibles of some kind. Well, let's uh, exit on through. There's uh, literally a flying spaceship. <laughs> How do we live in this little small town, or at least work from here, when there's a, a flying spaceship up above? Supposedly it was created by our ancestors way back whenever, or something along those lines. It's been up there since before the country was founded. Pretty incredible, right? So it just basically flies up there all the entire time? Is it like Shevat from Xenogears? They say that if Zebelin passes right over the town, it's a sign of the harvest that year would be a bumper... crop. Zebelin. Hope it decides to drift our way this year. Yo, it's giving me like, you know, Xenogears vibes. Okay, I need a new job. Can you give me a little more information? 
Keep it quiet, but the truth is a member of our guild has been doing research on some of those older relics. They're really short on hands, though, and ask if they could get a treasure hunter dispatch to help them out. I was planning on sending a senior hunter their way, but the guy I had lined up got himself hurt pretty badly. He's taking a leave of absence, so we have someone... We have to get someone to replace him. Okay, so apparently it should be this, uh... Cat person we spoke to earlier. Oh, so you're a hunter. You must be here because of the request I put in. My bad. I figured it sent some smelly old fart, you know, how most hunters are. Well, I'm still new to this line of work, so I'm not too surprised I don't look the part. Rest assured, though, I'll do everything I can to get the job done. We're gonna salvage that old flying machine, fix it up, and make it soar again. You called it the Divine Dragon, right? Isn't it just amazing? We're gonna resurrect an old dead dragon god with our own bare paws. I'll be having you go out and find the parts we need to get her back in shape. The Divine Dragon looks just fine from the outside, but her internals are a real mess. Okay, so we got the location of the next ruins. Let's um at least take a little look at it before we start wrapping up here because we're running a little bit late on time here now with this one. But so far, I mean, for a game on its own right, it's it's fine. Like, there's nothing... It, it performs really well. It handles pretty well. It's responsive. It's got a fairly decent anime-ish look to it. So, I mean, if you wanted to just stand on its own two feet as a game that, you know, not what it used to be, then you know, I could definitely see it. It definitely is an alright game that I think a lot of people would enjoy otherwise. Of course, if you're more into anime, then probably it'll give you a better incentive, but, uh, you know. It is what it is. We have ourselves... <laughs> Oh, what? That's the smallest little chest of all time. I got a summoning bell and a camouflage cloak. It's a dude over there with a rifle as well. Now let's see about... Oh! God, I just destroyed my ankles. I was kind of curious if there was, like, fall damage in the game, and I guess now uh, we know. Hey, buddy. I mean, you gotta take a shot eventually, dude. You can't just stand there and aim the entire time. It's just not gonna get it done. Drop anything? No. Hm. More dudes down there. Some are apparently running somewhere. Oh. Give me an danger. Oh! Something blew up. Are they firing me from across or what? As I've mentioned here, earlier, what didn't make the cut for this particular video will be over on the Falcon Patreon, along with other Let's Play exclusive series you'll only find there. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check it out. Otherwise, this has been Lorena and The Lost Ruins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.